Hello to everyone. <clears throat> this video will be like, I guess, a, com a comical video. Um, you know, sometimes when you just research so much junk that's going on in the earth, the only thing you can do is just laugh. I mean, it's too much. <sighs> so you got to understand the reason why Jacob act the way he act. When I say Jacob, I'm talking about the, the Israelites. Uh, and I can, and I'm gonna point out the tribe of Judah. How we, and even like Latinos, which is the tribe of Joseph, or Ephraim. And you know, um, the tribe of Gad, which is a North American Indian. First of all, you gotta understand they put us in uh, in a lot of like gladiator sports, and that's just one spectrum. And another way they they have us acting out our anger. See, we gotta understand that we are we were warriors from the beginning. We were executors of the Most High's laws, statutes, and commandments. So what happens is, once you lose your history and your understanding, and you are a warrior at heart, you're gonna act it out through music through battle, like fighting, or a basketball, or a gun, a knife, because you don't understand, and I'm, I'm not saying that this don't have any other nationalities of people, but when it comes down to the children of Israel in the earth today that don't know who they are, they act out ignorance. It's almost like when you knock somebody out, they don't know they're dumbfounded, they don't know where they are, so they out, they just, they can just be Throwing their guard, throwing their hands out like they' about to fight somebody. They don't know where they're punching because they have they, they, they're delirious. They don't know what's going on. They're confused, and that's what's wrong with our people today. And it's and it's written in the scriptures, you know, because we have the spirit of battle in us and the fury of the Most High, but we know not what. And that's what the scripture said. And I'll post it up in this area over here somewhere on this video. So. You know, to kind of like give you an example, because I can't just talk about it, but I have to show you, you know, like a few, well, just about most of Busta Rhymes videos, he's <laughs> making all those faces <laughs> like he's some kind of, you know, because he's has so much energy and passion for the, the for for battle but he don't know where that energy comes from you know when all our rappers be rap battling yeah who you know who say yeah what yeah what you know you know what I'm saying we get all that from the fury of battle that's what we used to do when it come down to, to about to go to war all the other nations know this and they mimic it that's what they mimic they mimicking us all right they know the people of the Bible. They know our attributes. They mimic it and use it for their own good. Period. So I'm just trying to be comical a little bit, making faces and stuff to kind of make things a little less stressful. But you need laughter. You know, I'm up here making little jocular statements because you got to realize that we, we can go out and look at a basketball game and idolize a basketball player now understanding that these athletes get this their spirit their power and all that that drive and 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 that 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 hunger and thirst from the spirit that created them that that that, that perfect spirit which is the holy spirit not saying that it's that holy spirit that's making them dunk the basketball and do 360s and do 720s like i've seen one guy do no, now it's for your own good. Just like Lucifer, when he fell, he started using his powers for his own good to grab people into his wicked kingdom the same way. See, when God gives you something, he's not going to just snatch it from you. The only thing you can do is use it based on, like if you got a knife in your hand, if it's for steak, you go cut somebody, that's on you. So we have the fury and the power of the Most High in us. And we use it for our own goods. 
be it busting your brother out over raps. And I've seen this. I've seen some of the best poets in my life. Um, they got a rap battle site or YouTube called A Hat, and it's some URL. And you know these brothers, I'm telling you, are so talented to the point where they can just make up a rhyme, and even if they have write it, written it down, they can memorize all that like that. And they, don't, and they can't equate themselves to the scriptures in Psalms and Solomon. Songs of Solomon and the Psalms and the the Bible itself is poetic, but you we would never understand that we can equate ourselves. Uh, we are the characters in the scriptures, but we use it again. See that the system has it where we use that power that we have in us to do good to do evil. I mean, you don't supposed to be busting, even though it's so called uh, you know rap battling and you know you duking it out in words. But that's still backbite. You know, you're not supposed to go at your own brother and say harmful things to him. You know, we all, huh, what? You all take care what will you know? <laughs> so this is a small little video that I'm, you know, I just understand our people. And it's hard for me not to tell them. I mean, I don't care if you're the president of the United States. If Even though I understand what Barack Obama is about. If he ever meet me, I'm like, sir, you're written in the scriptures. You're from the tribe of Judah. You have Jacob's blood in you, sir. Even though I'm understanding that a lot of us know that the scriptures say that this he probably won't. I'm sure he's not going to listen. Don't. But what I'm saying is to make an example. Where I don't care who you are. I don't care what stat, status you have in any office anywhere. I don't care how important you think you are. If you're Jacob, you're going to follow, you, you're going to be persecuted, period. I don't care who you think you are. You can be on top of the monument with a gold cup in your hand and it can be, and you can have a, a crystal a, a diamond suit on and everybody in the world worshiping you. I will tell you, look, get down from that wicked throne and come down here and help your people. You're Jacob. You're from the tribe of this. You're from the tribe of that. That's what we're supposed to do. All right. So this is a little small video and I'll be making more videos. I'm still working on one of my studies on the, well, a, two, well, a few of them on, you know, why did God create evil? A lot of people, you know, you know, uh, may have some questions on that. And then another video I'm making, you know, um, uh, what's the, the reason behind why the body needs to to sleep. All right, so I'm just giving you some snippets, and you know I'll be back with some more videos. This is my life, and I'll be doing this for the rest of it.